25 of you that have subscribed here we are we, we don't quite have the plaque but we're working on it so for all your long time viewers you'll know this dish got a bit of a reputation in it it doesn't always work but we're going to go for fish and chips YouTube now, so professional cooking. We're gonna do a tartar sauce. Let's do it. If it doesn't work, we're just gonna drink that. We're gonna drink the wine. We're gonna have a good night anyway. So we'll start as we mean to go on. We'll get the wine open. I've not seen this before. It's 50% Malbec, 50% Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so it'll be interesting. Try anything once. Again, majestic. It's not dear. If you don't like it, you can get your money back. Better than supermarket wine. Highly recommend you give it a go. So I've not had a, a mixture wine thing before. 50-50. First impressions are dark black currants, plum, vanilla. It's quite pleasant. Biatches? <laughs> I've got one egg white, um, 120 grams of sublimate flour. Fellow YouTuber, Gordon Ramsay. We're going to do this one together. I'll show them how it's done. Let's start cooking. So let's concentrate on the batter. 120 grams of raisin flour. Baking powder. Teaspoon. Just give it a bit of aeration. Teaspoon. Curry powder, and then you want to put a teaspoon of curry powder in the other flour. This is the thing you see, I don't know how much flour you need in that because he never mentioned it. But you know, put a bit of soft raisin flour, curry powder, and that's what I'm gonna dredge the fish in. There's my batter, and you want about 160 ml of beer. And I'm gonna measure this because the Stella battle I did last time didn't work. So about 160 ml, I'm using Peroni, which is what he used, and then I don't like to waste it, so the rest of it you can drink. So I'm going to whisk this, I'm going to season it, and then I'm going to season the flour and the food powder that I'm going to dredge the fish in. I'm going to whisk this with a good whisk. Now I don't really have enough dishes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into there. And I'm going to use this bowl to do the egg whites. So I'm going to put, well, I'm going to put the egg white in here. And then I like your seasoning with a bit of salt, and then when you get a stiff peak, add it to the batter. Right, so what I've done is I've just rinsed the bowl out. I've got another egg white because it wouldn't go stiff. We've all been there, so I'm just going to start again with a clean egg white, clean bowl, and then we we'll see if we can get them stiff peaks. I wouldn't say stiff peaks, but it's white and fluffy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the batter to that. And just give that a good whisk up with the egg white. Ready for the fish. Right, 
Right, you guys, we're going to season the fish. You can't season the fish once it's in the butter. So lightly season. And then, we're just going to have to do it. We're going to dredge it in the food powder and the flour. Now, this bit's important. You need to shake off the excess. Yeah? Bridge it and food powder, so sort of frozen flour. Yeah, shake off the excess. Now, just drop it in the batter. Right. Now, lay it away from you. Straight into the fat. Some flour oil. Get it frying. It should only take three or four minutes, shallow fried, it's better for you. Look at that. So, after four minutes, we'll get it out of the fat. Put a bit of paper. And then that looks beautiful. And then just pat it down, take off the excess oil. And then just place it in the oven for about four minutes. <clears throat> Peel a potato. I let it this bit out. Unless I forget. In which case, I'll do some shout outs. Um, shout out to the CEF boys, Darlow Branch. I know you're watching, cheers guys. Um, John, safe place. Appreciate your support mate. All my best to your family. Good luck for your wedding. And Josh, cheers buddy, I know you'll enjoy these. Right, just square it off. And then we've got one square potato. Now let's dry it. So we'll get rid of the moisture on the potato and a bit of kitchen roll because I find it just fries better. And when I say I find, God Ramsey told me it would work better. As right, so we dry the potato out, so again, don't waste your pepperoni because it's expensive, that you know. Let's get the potato chipped so we're going to cut it into sliced potato like that. and again just make them quite thin and then they won't take much frying and then try not to cut the finger off and when they're sliced turn it that way you've already squared it off so if you take your three fingers and just line them up somehow. Yeah. And you should have some nice thin chips. And then again, once you've got some nice thin chips, just dry out all the moisture. Like of all the starch and then it just fry better. Let's go on with that. So now that I've dried the chipped potatoes and we'll put them in the same oil I did the fish. I just shallow fry them in the oil and just leave them. Now Whilst they're frying, I'm going to do 
a lovely tartar sauce. Now, I couldn't get the shallot, so I've had to use a little onion. But I'm sure it'll be fine. So you get a little bit of the shallot, finely slice it, and then you put that in the little dish. So this is going to make the most beautiful tartar sauce. Put that in the uh, small dish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half mayonnaise to half creme fraiche. So creme fraiche, a couple of tablespoons. And then get the mayonnaise, half the mayonnaise, a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise. Then take a bit of salt. With a hot sauce and some gherkins. Two or three gherkins. Four, five. Get a few gherkins and just simply drop them finely. And you start them. And that will just make the tartar sauce sing. And again, just mix the gherkins into the tartar sauce, and then that is just the best to complement the fish and chips. Almost got a bit of lemon in the tartar sauce, so just add a little bit of a squeeze of lemon in that and do that. But, just look at them. So what I'm talking about. Well, let's get the chips up. Get them into a bit of tissue paper. And just drain them. Because they look beautiful. Crispy. So this is it. I think this might be the best one yet. We're going to plate up, we're going to do a good spoonful of tartar sauce. And then we're going to plate these beautiful chips up. And look at them. They are a sight. Just one potato produces all that. And then we're just going to lie on this beautiful fish. Screw it. Oh, look at that. Look at that fish and chips cooking with my Saturday night. Bon appetit. Thanks again, YouTube. I think this is the best I've produced. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Bon appetit.